Hi Coldwax friends, if you're new here, I'm Marina and today I want to share how I make thin lines when painting in cold wax in oils. It's one of my most asked questions, after the how long does it take for a cold wax painting to dry, which I will answer in my next video. There are different ways to make lines, they both give a very different effect, so let's dive in. For the direct way I will show you on this um, busy background um, and I hope you will see it on camera. You have several drawing materials where you can make um, lines, like this nail color. This makes beautiful thin lines. And you can shade with it. This surface is dry. And then the uh, mark making with the um, drawing tools works the best. I always get carried away when I do this, because I really love them. Um, a thicker line you can make with these uh, RNF oil sticks. There might be skin on them, and you have to take that off um, with a pellet knife. So you can see it's more like paint in a stick, which you can draw or you can um, blend it in and draw, for example, a line with a score in the paint. Another one is the Sennelier oil pestle. I always love to scribble just to get into to the painting process. When you use um, a soft pestle, it's better to do a thin layer of clear cold wax first, if it's on a dry surface, because if not, it won't stick. And then draw. One other possibility is this art crayon, which is a beautiful tool as well. I'm not sure if you will see it, it's gold. And now what I don't often use, but you can use it, uh, and it's fun, I've used it here, so this is dry. Um, it's a uh, artist marker and it's oil based so you can use it on the cold wax and oils when it's dry and you can draw or make some accents. And there's a thicker and a thinner version. I need these butterflies with the thinner version. You can make just some marks. And when they're dry, these white marks you can go over it with a transparent color so they still will be visible but they won't stand out as much as you can see here where it's not wet so you can tone down them down tone them down a bit Another way to make lines is the indirect way. So then you're using a donor surface for your paint. Um, I've put it on some oil paint with some cold wax, which I will mix together. And then I will just spread it on the 
paper. And it's a bit of a trial and error to see how thick you have to um, leave the paper. I often spread it with a brayer. So it will be thin. Then we can take, for example, the skewer and make some lines. I hope you can see them. Or um, I often use this pen with these. Uh, this comes with different nibs, so you can change the thickness of the uh, the line. And then you can do it with the needle, for example, to have even a thinner line. And of course you can do it with another color, for example with white. Here I've uh, put a mix of white and cold wax on the paper and I will spread it with a ball scraper. I will make a very thin layer. And then you can, for example, use your fingers. It's a bit thick, but nice. That's why I said it's a bit of a trial and error because if it's too thick, the lines will get you will get double lines. We'll so try again with this. if it's a bit thin. If you think the paint is too thick, just take a piece of uh, thin paper, put it over the uh, part where it's too thick and just spray here. And it will pick up the paint. And then the... And you can leave some white here. Okay, this is how I make my indirect and my direct lines. Uh, another way to get a um, very straight line is you take a bit of masking tape, stick it onto your painting, take some paint and make a, a line. You can of course take any color, but this will you will see the best, I think, with the white. Very nice straight line. And of course you can make a more organic line by clearing this paper. There's always cold wax in my mix. So this is white with cold wax. Okay. 
Okay, I hope this video inspired you to try this out. And uh, if you want to know more about the techniques, be sure to check out my online class Getting Started with Cold Wax Medium, where I talk about all the techniques possible uh, with Cold Wax Medium and where we work on four projects together to try out all these different techniques. I will make some more videos on YouTube, so be sure to sign up for my YouTube channel and um, thank you for watching.